Hi folks, this is Lucy Riley with Ballots for Bernie, back for another back-to-back -back live stream, building up to our Election Integrity Conference, Take Back the Vote in Richmond, California, happening this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. We'll be registering folks from 9.30 to 10 a.m., and we're going to get started with our election integrity advocates and specialists from all over the country. We have got the entire inner circle. For you folks this weekend in Richmond. So if you live in the Bay Area, we would love for you to come and join us at Grace Lutheran Church on Barrett Avenue. You can park at the Civic Center parking lot and walk across the street to join us. And if you're too far out of the Bay Area, we want to invite you to join us on the live stream this weekend. We'll be live streaming both Saturday and Sunday all day. We've got some special guests and a whole lot of great information for you. So to, to, to tonight, we've got Paul Thomas from Election Justice USA with us. We are so happy to have you with us, Paul. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Um, it's been an amazing journey on the Bernie campaign. Um, Paul and I, like so many people on the Bernie campaign, met each other online and uh, got him interested, um, particularly after um, the California uh, primary, where um, we had one point, we had 2.4 million people come out to vote on June the 7th, and we had 1.9 million votes still left to count, and it took us a month to get that done, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, so... Paul is one of the people that we reached out to, that we watched what he was doing with Election Justice USA. Um, and we like to say that we're cross-pollinating, right? Exactly. We are cross-pollinating our activists here in California with Ballots for Bernie, with um, election integrity activists working with EJUSA. And you guys are actually in a lot of states now. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Paul, I like to ask all of my guests, what was the seminal moment for you? that erected your backbone, that put your feet in the street as an election integrity activist, what drew you into the moment? It's a really good question, but uh, it's got a couple of easy answers. Uh, it started in 2000, understanding the fiasco that went on in Florida, right. but that only got my attention to start watching when Bev Harris in 2003 started reporting on the uh, Diebold uh, voting machine code right. that she had found online. Right. So I started thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe our elections aren't so valid. Uh, but then my conviction came from what I called the, the what went wrong in Ohio moment of yeah. 2004. Yeah, and that, that got a lot of people, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been ever since for me. So, mm -hmm. so that was the pivotal moment, and it set me to the path of... Uh, actually sort of being a, a substantial investigator and, and yeah. kind of uncovering who was uh, involved in the mm -hmm. Ohio's uh, uh, vo vote reporting results that night. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was the, my collaborators and ID Pluribus Media that found my Connell inside the machinery of mm -hmm. the Ohio vote. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then since then, uh, well, I've just been keeping on, keeping on. Yeah, yeah. So I know that um, what you're doing right now, the work that you're doing with EJUSA, um, really got um, um, an injection of energy in uh, Bernie's campaign. So tell us, um, in the midst of Bernie's campaign, what was the moment, what happened um, that really um, was the impetus for EJUSA's explosive growth? Well, um, that's uh, another sort of multi-step thing, but it started the night we were watching the Massachusetts results come in. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of us on uh, various online groups came together and, and became friends at that point. Um, but then it was definitely the Arizona fiasco mm -hmm. uh, and just the massive uh, disenfranchisement that occurred uh, on that day. And uh, basically that precipitated, that catalyzed us to form uh, election justice. And uh, we've been rolling ever since. Mm -hmm. um, after, I guess the key there was understanding how many people's votes sure. that registration had been sure. tampered with. Sure. And we were hearing it was happening in New York. So we were ready for New York, fortunately. 
Yeah. So, Paul, tell us a little bit about who is working with EJ USA throughout the country. Where have we got activists working with your organization now? I know we've got some folks that are dedicated in California. Mm -hmm. Well, in California, we've made a lot of friends in California. Um, but we've had, uh, obviously, the, the trouble states are mm -hmm. sort of the key. It's New York, uh, Arizona, um, California. Um, we have some Massachusetts. Uh, I think you'll be, uh, well, I'll leave that for now. But uh, I guess those are the sort of the th big three. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got we've got complaints from people who voted all around the country with mm -hmm. lots of problems. So, but uh, those big those uh, headline states were the ones. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of California, we have got some um, some inspired activists working with you here yeah. in the state of California yeah. that are working on some very interesting um, issues. And um, we are really um, stoked to hear more about um, civil grand juries and how we as average citizens can get involved um, and push for transparency in the system through specific means. Talk to us a little bit about that. Okay, well, <clears throat> Election Justice USA is collaborating with uh, Watch the Vote uh, and uh, Kelly Mordecai, uh, who has developed, basically uncovered something that very few people have understood before, that mm -hmm. every single county in California uh, has a, a sitting civil grand jury to which uh, the citizens can uh, send a petition, uh, a complaint, asking for investigation of particular issues. Mm -hmm. um, and so Kelly has started this process uh, in Siskiyou County. Uh, within a month of filing the original mm -hmm. petition, uh, he, he's been seen by the, the grand jury and uh, has uh, uh, investigative efforts going on. So what we want to do is take that power and apply it to each of the 58 counties, right, 57 right, other counties right. in California, uh, to help understand what happened in the primaries in California, because yes. there was a lot of problems. Yes. We took over 800 complaints from Californians mm -hmm. uh, out of, out of what, nearly 2,000 in our total database. So. Uh, a lot of That's problems. an overwhelming number of complaints That's a huge coming out number. of the state of California. We like to say here in the state of California with 58 different counties practicing 58 different sets of rules and regu regulations, we've got 58 fiefdoms. We've got 58 yeah. county chaos. Absolutely. And one of the things that um, that uh, Ballots for Bernie is going to be working on in the future um, in uh, Coalition with the Voting Rights Task Force, Jim Jim Soper and the good pe people from the VRTF, is to address this issue of 58 different mm -hmm. sets of rules and regulations. We want transparency in the system, absolutely, but we want continuity. We want consistency. Mm -hmm. We want to see a set of best practice protocols that work for small and different for medium and then different for large counties put into play. We could possibly have hand counted paper ballots in some of the smaller counties and precincts where it's manageable. Mm -hmm. In the city of San Francisco, on the ballot for November, there are 60 different items. Mm -hmm. That is an impossibility um, when we're talking to millions of people coming out to vote. So the same thing that's going to work in a large county like San Francisco County, um, you know, um, would not be necessary um, for a smaller county, smaller populated county like Siskiyou. Mm -hmm. um, but we can find we're adults. We're dedicated. We can find a set of scenarios that's going to work best. It's not one size fits all. We realize that. But we are ready to work with our ROV offices, um, with um, citizens groups. Mm -hmm. And if it takes us going to the civil grand jury to push this, I think that that's something that we've got a lot of people um, that are tuning in on ballots for Bernie that helped us knock on doors and get Bernie blisters all over the state of California. I think we've got enough people who are despondent and pissed off 
about this election that would join us in that. We're going to hear more um, about um, what Kelly is doing in Siskiyou County mm -hmm. um, the, at the conference this weekend. So we've got a little tease for you folks. you got to tune in to see what's happening there. But Paul, talk to us a little bit more about how you see um, ideas like this affecting the future of elections in America. Well, um, there are a number of ideas, obviously. Uh, I think the hand count of paper ballots idea is at least uh, an interim solution to uh, problems until we end up with a, a, a technology that is secure, a reliable, transparent, and accurate. Right. As uh, much as we'd like to see open source code used right now, it's just not ready. Right. It's just not reliable right now. Right. And we're, we're actually looking into uh, trying to develop, basically, uh, we have people who've claimed that they can make mm -hmm. secure machines. Mm -hmm. And so we're working, talking We'll believe about, it when we see it, right? Well, that's, and that's <laughs> the thing, is we're hoping to commission one of these and put it, put an IP address on it and have a, invite a hackathon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if it passes that, that's on, on the way to maybe the technology that mm -hmm. we need. So, Paul, you're going to be speaking at our conference as well, and we don't want to give away too much that you're going to be talking about, but give us a little tease on what you're going to be talking about at our conference. Well, that hand count of paper ballots, just a little bit. Um, the, well, there's also some interesting developments uh, in Florida uh, between the Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Tim Canova. Oh, and we're all paying attention. Yeah. Very close. Uh, I think there's going to be some interesting news coming pretty soon. Um, and then finally, uh, I want to uh, talk more about the civil grand jury issue mm -hmm. and the sorts of things that uh, can be invested, can be uh, demanded by uh, citizens in, in this investigation. Right. So. Yeah. so folks, we're going to take you through a process where you can step up in your county and do this yourself. We're going to offer a how-to guide. All right, so stay tuned. Folks, we want to invite you to come out to our Election Integrity Conference this weekend. Take back the vote. It's going to be in Richmond, California. We'll be registering you um, at 9.30 in the morning and promptly at 10 a.m. until 4.35 p.m. because we've got a lot of information for you. We're going to pack it in both days. You can park at the Richmond Civic Center and walk across the street to Grace Lutheran Church on Barrett Avenue. We would love to have you join us at our conference if you are here in the Bay Area. If not, we're gonna be live streaming on Ballots for Bernie both days. Folks, we wanna ask you to like our page on Ballots for Bernie. We want to invite you to join our effort through BallotsforBernie.org. We've got thousands of people across the state of California. We are looking to increase our viewership and we want to invite you to be an election integrity activist here with us um, at Ballots for Bernie. We are cross-pollinating. That's our new that's our new tagline, right Paul? That's we are cross-pollinating. So Paul is in a different area of the country than we are, all the way across sea to shining sea. Here we are in California working with Paul from the um, opposite side of the United States. We want his EJUSA election integrity activists to follow what we're doing on Ballots for Bernie. We are not doing the same thing. We are offering um, an opportunity to educate you from some of the masters in the EI movement um, through our Ballots for Bernie uh, live streams on Sunday evenings at 5 p.m. coming to you from Berkeley, California out of Next Space. And Paul is got, has got feet in the street activism. He is encouraging people to um, to join their election integrity EJUSA group wherever you are across the country. And if you don't have one in your state, this is your moment, folks. Reach out to Paul through his website. And Paul, share with us your website. It's electionjusticeusa.org. And through his website, you can get connected with people that might be in your neighboring state, all right? You can find out what is the process that they are doing to organize in their in their area, just like you organize with your fellow Bernie supporters to go out and knock on doors and phone bank. You can organize with people in your state that you can push for transparency in the system right in your own backyard, folks. This takes many hands. Many hands make light work. We're asking you to join us. 
We're asking you wherever you are across the country to make your precious right to vote count. If you show up, cast your vote, and you can't trust that your vote is being counted as cast, what do you? Th how do you think you're going to encourage 81% of registered Democrats that didn't even show up to vote in this primary? That's abysmal. Only 9% of registered voters, sh of registered Democrats, showed up to vote in the primary. We could have used those votes for Bernie. Folks, we want you to get active. We want you to be a part of this thing. Educate, agitate, demonstrate, and legislate. Be a part of the process. We are accepting all of your questions. If you have any questions for Paul about EJ USA, anything that's coming in, our fearless Addie. We have a question that says, do we have one here in Louisiana, if any of you know? Can we write him in? Um, and referring to Bernie, I believe. This, oh, um, I think that depends on the state. I don't think that, I think there may be 10 states that you can write uh, Bernie Sanders in. Uh, seven, actually. Seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But I'd add a couple other things here uh, to educate, agitate, demonstrate, and legislate. I'd add litigate if necessary. Right on, partner. You deserve a high five on that. Okay. And we've got to take it to court to, to, to force the issue. We're willing to do that. And we did. So, um, and so are there any activists that are um, connected through um, EJ USA in Louisiana right now, possibly in some other states in the Deep South that this um, gentleman can reach out to? Um, let's see. Uh, he can reach out to us and we'll try and make connections. We're, we're establishing, uh, we have started a, basically what we're calling a Democracy Tuesday mm -hmm. series of pages to get uh, people from around the country involved mm -hmm. uh, and working with their own uh, state members. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, But that's what we're looking to do. Mm -hmm. You, are, Thank you so much for asking that question. You are on the ground floor of making this election integrity movement span across the United States. We need people from every state to step up and lead. And Louisiana, I lived in New Orleans for 10 years. Um, I like to say that I'm a child of two cities. Um, we know that the history of Huey P. Long cast a long shadow. We know that um, uh, states across the country have certain reputations um, with um, election fraud happening, and Louisiana is wrong with it. So right thank <laughs> you, thank you so much. Um, if you're in New Orleans, say some friends to my fellow, say hello to some of my fellow funketeers, funketeers at uh, Tipitina's and uh, Howlin', Howlin' Wolf. Yeah, thanks so much. Folks, if we have any other questions, we'll be glad to answer. Addie, do we have any other questions right now? We're good. We'll have to check out the comments later on and answer them there. All right. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of Ballots for Bernie. Again, Paul, thank you so much for um, speaking with us today. Thanks for and having we're me. so excited to have you at our conference tomorrow. And we are just over the top to talk about civil grand juries in the state of California and how you can be a part of making sure that every vote is counted as cast. Folks, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you this weekend on our live stream. Bye now. Bye.